Hey there, wrestling fanatics. How's everyone doing? And a spectacular Friday. Just two more weeks, my wrestling fanatics, until WrestleMania 32. Cannot wait. I wish I was going, but not this year. Maybe, just maybe, in the near future, I'll keep you guys posted. Anyway, I have another announcement. And I know what you're going to say. Dude, where's that podcast you promised us? Well, it's supposed to be up before noon. Well, my friend told me last night things had changed because yesterday was St. Patrick Day, so he went out in a uh, hoopla, so I'm okay with that. So, tomorrow afternoon we'll do the podcast. Hopefully, if nothing get changed then probably tomorrow night I will upload it to YouTube but I'll make sure the audio is very very clear then you can hear me and my guest okay so once again I'm sorry about that I know everyone out there who has been listening to my podcast since day one we're looking forward to the brand new episode so once again I'm sorry. Anyway, I want to discuss this. I don't know if I did or not. If I did, I'm going to do it again. This matchup. Okay. It is official. It's going to take place in Dallas, Texas for the NXT TakeOver. And I heard it's going to be live for the WWE Network. So the people who are not going to attend this event are not going to miss out. It might be better than Mania. Isn't that sad? Um, I don't know where is this event that is going to take place. Maybe the pl same place that Raw is going to take place in Dallas, Texas. Who knows? Um, I don't care who's the face, who's the heel. I don't care. I'm assuming that new new dude. I don't want to totally botch because I made a video on it a while back. Um, this might be like a five star match. I'm just predicting. And um, I just hopefully big things are happening. Hopefully some awesome spots, awesome sp finishing moves, and probably the people who is going to attend this event will say, holy shit, holy shit. We don't even get that that much on Raw or even on the pay-per-views these days because it's a uh, last luckering, you know, but whatever. The crater is just bad. But this is Triple H's baby, and hopefully it's in the right direction. I think it is. Not when I first came out NXT back in 2010. I don't care for that. That's why I stopped watching it for a long time. Then they came up with their own show and titles and storylines and all the hoopla. Look it. I missed, I missed a couple of years at NXT, and now they give us a decent show. What the hell I missed? But I guarantee I am going to watch this on the road. Scratch that. I'm sorry. WrestleMania weekend on that Saturday night. If I don't forget. If if I forget on Saturday night, I could have watched it Saturday morning. Sunday morning. I'm sorry. Sunday morning. So it's not really a big deal to me. Probably if someone's on board to do a review of me and um, let me rephrase that to do the um, um, predictions and review of me for this show but probably won't make any sense because I don't know nothing about NXT I gotta watch it but I'm keep forgetting Wednesday nights you know it's, I'm, it's not a um, common thing for me you know what I'm saying you know back in the day there was no such thing as Wrestling on uh, Wednesdays, you know, it's always on Mondays and uh, Fridays, and they move to Thursdays and they back to Thursdays. No, Thursdays, Fridays, Thursdays. You know what I'm saying? So it just feels weird on a on a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anyone agrees with me, but I don't know. This match is gonna be probably the match of the night. I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know any other matches. So I'm just going to go with this one. And um, 
I'm looking forward to it, you know? I hopefully one day, myself, I go with my brother to an NXT uh, live event, or my friend named Nick. I have not talked to Nick in a long time. He's still busy with work and other stuff, you know? So I'm going solo with these videos. Been a while since he came over my house, or I was over his house. But off the subject here, um, NXT is the hottest ticket for WrestleMania weekend. Isn't that sad? Usually people are just fired up for Mania, but now people are more fired up for NXT TakeOver. Isn't that sad? That's pathetic. Well, off the subject here, off the record, because W, the road to WrestleMania is not that great. The storyline is not that great. If they never ever have NXT, do you think people will still go to WrestleMania weekend? Hell yeah! No doubt about it. Especially if you never been to a WrestleMania live event. It is freaking awesome. But I'm glad whoever is going to attend the WrestleMania weekend and if you got the uh, WrestleMania package you get the NXT thing. I think that's part of the package. That is freaking awesome. Um, hopefully they come back to Chicago to a different building than the stupid... Um, it's not stupid, but I think it was not necessary in that theater in Chicago. They should go to a uh, Rosemont, you know, like Allstate Arena or a freaking United Center. But I think United Center is too big and probably the taxes is outrageous or the contract. I don't know. They have not been there since 94 SummerSlam. So, I don't know. I want to go to an NXT live event so bad, you know. It just probably is better on TV. Better live than watching on TV, you know. You can see more stuff, and maybe the, maybe the fans go more ape shit like they did back in the Attitude Era, you know. Maybe see some hot chicks in the crowds. You never know what what alcohol does to you these days, you know. Yeah, that's off the record, you know. Um, they don't show the crowd that much in this era. Sad, isn't it? Um, I mean, they do, but not the. The, the TV 14 era, but I don't know why I get off subject here, but I guess it's okay with the viewer, hopefully. But um, this should be a good match. Sami Zayn, he's a great performer. I never seen the other guy, but I did saw him on YouTube, the highlights of his career. Hopefully, though, he does not mess him up once he gets to the main roster. That's what I'm worried about, you know. But that's that's his Vince's baby, Raw and SmackDown. Triple H's baby is the NXT. I'm looking forward to when Triple H takes over for the whole damn show. You know, the whole company in, in Shane. Whenever that happens. So, I really appreciate it if you really help the brother out. Like this video. Now, if you are not a subscriber to this channel, what are you waiting for? Just hit that uh, sub button and you'll get, get more of these videos and other ones like podcasts, unboxings, road trip videos, uh, interviews, you know, when I do the podcast, and um, reviews, predictions, you name it, I do it. All wrestling related. But I do have another wrestling, I'm sorry, I do have a, another YouTube channel. So check them out. And everyone have a spectacular Friday. Have an amazing weekend from your friend here. Team Lara, have a good one. And what is your quick thoughts on this video? Yeah.